Welcome back to the Alibaba Success Guide. And in this video, we are going to discuss what you're going to do when your samples arrive. Now, some wholesale buyers suggest that you should actually try to sell your samples to get a sense for how well they'll do on the market. However, this is not considered to be a best practice because you risk your seller rating if you haven't properly tested an item first. You want to look at this product for aesthetics. You're also going to want to look at it for longevity and durability. Why? Because you want to make sure that the product is going to last after repeated use, after repeated testing, after a period of time. You want to make sure that colors don't fade, that things don't fall apart, that it doesn't have a fatal flaw. You want to make sure before this actually goes to a market because again, your seller rating is always going to be on the line as you start to sell these products in various marketplaces. You want to take your sample not to sell, but you want to make sure that you're giving it the best and the harshest and the most detailed use as you possibly can when you get the sample. If possible, use a durability checklist. You want to also get family members to test it also. Have it used as if it's going to be used by a customer or a client that doesn't necessarily treat it gently, but treats it harshly. One of the reasons that you want to do this is because you don't want to have warranty issues or lots of refunds when customers feel as if they've been cheated and they feel as if the product that, that they have is not of sufficient quality. Now, for example, there is a concept among wholesalers that you will have clothing that is called three generation clothing. That in other words, after three washes or three periods during a drying cycle that not only does the clothing fade, but it also shrinks. You want to make sure that you do not have that kind of, that kind of product if you're going to use clothing and you do that by testing the sample. One thing that is probably a good example of testing the sample is having something that has a hinge. You want to make sure that you test the hinge plenty of time so that you know this product is going to be worth going forward with an order. Now you only proceed beyond this point. If you are 100% satisfied with the sample and that you're sure that you will have customers that will use this and will be satisfied. So this sample process, the testing in particular is very important. You don't want to invest in inventory that you're eventually going to have to pull off the market and is going to lower your seller rating in the selling marketplaces. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.